When you first came to me, you had the worst case of dissociative identity disorder I'd ever seen. 27 distinct personalities, all sharing your body. Now you've gotten to know the roommates. They've grown to trust you. And now they've merged back with your core self. All but the one. Has she come out since we last met? Ivy? No. You think we could get her to come out and talk? She's been carrying something for a very long time. It's time to let it go. Where am I? Where are you? Only where you've imprisoned me for the past three months. You think you can just keep me in here? After all I've done for you. Where's Dr. Price? Why can't I hear him? You're still seeing that quack? See, that's why you need me at the wheel. If I'd been in control, he'd never have sent the others away. They're still here. They're a part of me, and so are you. You? How could I be you? You're weak. Disgusting. You don't deserve to be the dominant. I carry all your burdens. Always have. And believe me, you're the biggest burden of them all. Is that why you try to kill me? Why every time I wake up, having lost hours, days, each time covered in cuts and bruises. Bruises are your father's department. How dare you! Yes, my father had his faults, but he's changed. More than I can say for you. He was just as broken as I was after mom died. Careful there. You have no idea what you're talking about. What do you mean? No, no, no. You're not ready for that one yet. What are you keeping from me, Ivy? This isn't about the abuse, is it? This is something else. Hmm. Maybe you are ready. But I can't take this one back. If I tell you, you'll beg me to take control. Just tell me. Fine. You were five years old. Asleep in your bed. You woke to screaming. Afraid to go look, but it only got louder. So you snuck downstairs. The screaming was unbearable now, but somehow you had to stop it. Then there was Mom standing in the kitchen, and Father standing right in front of her. He didn't see you. But you stood and watched as your father took a knife and murdered our mother. And that's where we met. Your whole world shattered before your eyes, nowhere to run, so you just left. Out of your body, into the wall, somewhere else. And I was born. I stood and watched as our father dragged our mother across the kitchen floor. I couldn't do anything except remember and wait until a time when I was strong enough, a time when you were ready, a time like now. I would have acted sooner, but I knew it would have destroyed you if you didn't know why. Wait, what are you saying? Revenge, Clara. You knew where this was going. I'm going to do to him what he did to our mother. It's the only way to cure the pain. I've carried this my entire life. And now finally it's time for some justice. I'm not going to kill my father. You think you can just live with this? You think you can even look the man in the eye? You don't have to kill anyone. But I can. I could run. Typical Clara, always running away. Well, fine. Run. But let me fix this for you, just like I always do. You won't have to take any blame. This one's all on me. Look, you may think I need you, but I don't. I'm not going to kill my father, and I'm sure as hell not going to let you do it. This is something I've got to do on my own. Goodbye, Ivy. Just because you made me, doesn't mean I need you. Goodbye, Clara. <laughs>